guys and welcome to another one of my Chelsea videos and today I'm going to be rating the rumours that Louis Campos is set to be appointed as a Chelsea sporting director in the summer period. Um, and I'm going to start by outlining who he is and I'll go into the rumours and what I think is going to happen, how good I think he would be for the club. Um, and first up, Louis Campos, he is a scout, I believe he's Portuguese, um, and he, he was at Real Madrid um, scouting, but then he was made sporting director at AS Monaco, and he's uncovered um, a lot of gems there in that period where they made the Champions League semi-final, um, I think it was 2016 now, um, with players like, Mar he, he's uncovered players like Martial, Bernardo Silva, Bakayoko, perhaps, you know, there's clearly a good player in there, but maybe we didn't see him at Chelsea, um, and Fabinho, um, all really good players, um, and a lot of the credit's been given to Campos for that. He's now at Los Galil, um, and he's been credited for bringing up, obviously, the fantastic um, Nicolas Pepe, who is a Chelsea fan, of course, so I'd love a double deal if we could do it, but I'm not so sure it will. Um, and he's clearly got a talent for uncovering these sort of players um, and uncovering talent. And it's clear why a club like Chelsea, who have been without a sporting director for, well, will have been without a sporting, sporting director for 18 months, would be linked to someone like him. Um, he's very arrogant. He said he could make a situation like the one he had at Monaco happen at every club he's at in terms of recruitment. And I think, honestly, he would be the perfect fit for our club. Um, as long as the managers were given time um, and able to use these young products Campos brings through, which is by no means certain, I think he'll find he'll be able to liaise with, with managers well um, and be able to come up with a good recruitment strategy for Chelsea Football Club. Perhaps even in the knowledge that we're not that secure with managers and we want long-term development, um, of players, perhaps over any managerial philosophy, um, for right or for wrong. So I think were he to be a serious candidate and were we to appoint him, I would personally be very happy. I think he's one of the very best out there. Um, and I think our club would, would immediately, assuming we're not in transfer ban, and I think our ban will get suspended, um, we'll be able to lay the foundations for a really good patch under him. Even if there is, we'll be able to sort out our strategies under him for a year. And I think that would also be, he would still also be a good guy to have in place. However, there are caveats, there always are, to rumours. And the first caveat I can think of is that we're, we are in competition. And we were the only team linked with him, but... Recently, um, Arsenal have, are now in competition with us for him. They obviously got rid of their ex Dortmund scout. I think Sven Muslintat is his, was his name, but he's left uh, Arsenal mid-season in the same way Amanalo did with us. And they were going to get the ex Roma director, well, current Roma director. I think he's leaving at the end of the season. Monkey, um, Monchi, Monkey. If anyone tells me how to pronounce, please do. He, and Monkey is, I would argue, the best out there. I was bricking it when I saw he was going to Arsenal. But he made the last minute U-turn to go back to Sevilla, um, which is interesting. It was his hometown club, and he is now going to go back there to establish Champions League football, which is great. You're keeping him out of the Premier League, Premiership. But now, he, now Arsenal are competing with us for Campos. And to further throw another um, sort of spanner in the machine, um, Roma obviously need a successor for Monkey, and they're looking at Campos too. So Chelsea have to present a real case to him that we are the right club for him. I think if we give him the power that someone like a Michael Emanalo had, which was pretty massive, I think he'll, he'll move to us. I think at board level, he he will have, in conjunction with Marina Granovskia, quite a big say over the dressing room, the manager, the team dynamic, and I think that's important. And I think the fact we need someone to partner Marina is so, so important. Um, 
he must have seen that the sort of struggle in form that seminalo has gone. Roman will see it. Even Marina will have seen it. So what would be great is for him to come in on a long-term basis and sit alongside Marina to make our recruitment and our general business side, which she's great at, but recruitment not so much, more stable. So, do I think it'll happen out of 10? I'm going to say a 7. I think we've got an above average chance. We've got a better chance in Arsenal and Roma. But it's by far from done from what I've read um, across a few publications. And I think if we get him, our recruitment will go up by so much. But if anyone wants to comment, particularly if you're a fan of Monaco or you followed Monaco, followed, followed Lil in the last few years, want to comment on, on what he's done, um, what he hasn't done maybe, um, how he supported the managers, whether he'd be a good fit, do comment. I'll respond to everyone and I always want to learn more. Um, I'm just giving my opinion to hopefully start debates and things. Um, and thanks for watching, guys. Um, like and subscribe. Honestly, it means so much when people hit that bell button. We see everyone that subs and it it really does make us, make us want to keep doing these videos um, for you guys. So have a good day. Um, enjoy yourselves and I'll see you soon for more Chelsea content.